everyone, it is I, Republic Public Studs. I hope you guys enjoyed the opening cinematic. And today, we have a new uh, mock. And this one is basically, uh, there's no real story uh, other than I'm going to be calling it Escape from Kashyyyk. Now, this is essentially Director Krennic and all of his stormtroopers and death trooper entourages escaping from Kashyyyk. They were dispatched here on a mission, and there's not too much of a story to it. I didn't really want to come up with that. I wanted to focus more on the details. And this was more of an experiment for me. I wanted to experiment with my mock building technique, see where it's grown, because I had one way of building mocks, and then, you know, after a while, it kind of got, like, it got, it got better, but I never really applied those types of techniques. So this was more of an experiment for me, to see where I was as a mock builder and how my skills have grown, and as well as learn some new techniques and teach them to you. But that is basically the shtick here we got today. I can't wait to get into it. Please remember to like, subscribe, turn on the bell, do all the other things, and let's get into it right now. So everyone, here is the mock. It is great looking. Now, there's not too much to go into because there's not like that much of a storyline. It's basically just Director Krennic is running to get pick up picked up. I was originally going to put this in, but it just felt too oversized, to be honest. Uh, I figured it looks better without. But they're basically running across a Kashyyyk beach and, you know, escaping. I was originally planning to use this mock for the Clone Traders series, but it didn't really end up fitting the way I wanted to, and I'm going to do something more grand for that. But it looks pretty cool. I love the way that the Death Troopers and Director Krennic look, especially in the form with their Brick Arms bla Blasters and the custom Director Krennic. I think the Stormtroopers, the 2014 versions with their Brick Arms look great. I think I, I, I get a lot of the complaints I get with the details in terms of the sanding. Obviously, I know this isn't finished. That's because, not actually because I ran out of pieces this time, just because I planned on leaving the shuttle land there. So I think that this is definitely a good work on my building skills. Now, what I did for the forest is actually really interesting. So it's three layered. So basically, the first layer here, I'll take it apart a bit, is you have one of these pieces, and this is how you do this. So I got a lot of, actually it's four layers, I got a lot of these uh, obviously greenish pieces, and I stacked them all down, and I built these like brown things that are pretty cool, I'm going to be needing these pieces, and then I took one of these. And then you take one of these, and then basically I just kind of put all of these pieces. I have all of these, lots of them, and after that, on top of those, I put these little uh, spiky ones. So then I would create this whole landscape and type of environment that would, you know, make it spiky and tall and make it a nice big brown forest. And I think it turned out great. Doing that for every little bit looks absolutely stunning. But definitely the transition from it being a forest to the sand is a little uh, on the nose. It should have been a little more uh, divided. It should have been like a little like dirtier or something like that. This was, I was kind of intending, intending on doing the ocean. But I have nowhere near the correct amount of studs to even properly portray that. So I put this little dark brown sand here, and I think that came out absolutely stunning. It looks pretty even and pretty uh, random, which is good. Uh, obviously, the stormtroopers look great. And these little brown things, I just kind of built together. They're all full. This took me in total about two and a half hours to build. I know, it's crazy. But I really like how it turned out. Let's get into the outro. This was just, I think, a little labor of love. I wanted to do a little video on it because I thought it was really cool and I hadn't done a mock video, it feels like, in forever now. But yeah, let's get into the outro and I'll talk a bit more. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed looking at the mock. I really enjoyed working on it. I think that I learned a lot of useful techniques and I think you could use them too to make the better mock. I think when you do foliage, I think that is it, ex it is extremely important. You give a lot of variety. A big mistake I've made since the beginning of time is I just take foliage and I just put it down. I never actually added any variation to it, and that obviously made my mock suffer. So I think this will give me better insight on how to better build mocks, and I think that I learned at least a little bit here, and I hope you did too. So with that said, if you did learn something, please remember to subscribe, hit the bell, do all the other things. I really appreciate it. We are so close to 6,000... 600 subs and if we hit that I will be doing an order 66 extravaganza mock type thing But yeah, see you all in the next one. Peace out. Stay awesome mm -hmm.